Hello YouTube, it's Carrie Ann. So this is the first video um, of the uh, tutorial for the Mosaic Crocheted Lapgan um, from my Nava Lapgan pattern. Um, we're going to start out with the foundation row and the first pattern. So what you're going to need is you're going to need a 5 millimeter hook like this. And for my foundation row, I'm using um, this beautiful brown, dark brown color. Um, you can use any color you want, any yarn you want. Um, I talk about the colors in the yarn in the previous video, and I'll link, I'll post a link to that video here if you want to go back and watch it. So again, I'm starting with this dark brown, and we're going to go ahead and start with our foundation row. So we are going to chain, chain 115 stitches plus 7, which will be 122 stitches. So we're just going to go ahead and take our time. You can purchase the pattern if you want to follow along with the pattern. Um, there's a link below. The pattern costs about five dollars but if you don't want to purchase the pattern you can follow along i'm going to post each row right here um, on the video you'll just need to jot it down so we're going to start with our foundation row again we're going to chain 115 plus oops 115 plus six which will give you 122 stitches just going to go ahead and start <laughs> once again trying to do this while watching the camera when I really should be just watching myself here. So let's go ahead and chain 122 stitches. And while we're doing that, I'm just going to take a moment to settle my mind and greet my project with some gratitude. So today I am grateful for the shoes on my feet, the clothes on my back, and the roof over my head. I am grateful for the clean water that flows freely from my faucet and the food in my cupboards. I am grateful for all of my families, all of my friends. May they be blessed, healthy, and safe. Tell me what you're grateful for today. Post it in the comments below. So again, we're just chaining 122 stitches and I'll meet you at the end of that. Okay, now we have chained 122 stitches. We're gonna work back down the chain doing single crochet, single crochet stitches. Um, but we're not going to work through the front of the chain like you normally would. We're going to turn our chain over, and I'll show you why we do that in just a moment. Um, and you're going to start in the second stitch. So we're going to actually skip this first stitch and move into the second stitch. So there's this little, if you turn your chain over, you see these little lumps or humps on the back of your chain. That's where you're going to work your stitch. So we're skipping the first one and going into the second one and you're just going to move your hook under that hump there. Yarn over. Pull your loop through. Yarn over. Pull through two loops. And we're going to go on to the next one. Put your hook under that hump, yarn over, pull a loop through, yarn over, pull through two loops. And we're just going to do that all the way down the chain. And I like working in the back of the chain because um, I will show you. It gives you a nice um, edge on your foundation row. So just work down your chain 
all the way to the end. And remember you skipped a stitch. So when you get to the end, you should have a total of 121 stitches. So just take your time. Your foundation row is kind of important. You want it to look neat and you want to have the right number of stitches. And I'll see you at the end of this row. Okay, I have finished my foundation row and I have gone back and counted my stitches. I really recommend that you count, go back and count your stitches. Make sure that you have 121 stitches. And the reason why we crochet into the back part of your chain stitch is because when you do that, it gives you this nice, um, neat edge. I don't know if you can see that, that's the edge. You wouldn't get that edge if you crochet just through the chain loops, but because we crochet through the back of the chain, this is what we get, this nice clean edge. And this clean edge is gonna be really helpful for you when we do our, um, our double border. It really is, it's gonna um, give you some divine stitches to look at as opposed to not having those defined edge. So yeah, so it makes it look nice and neat. Again, you're going to want to have a total of 121 stitches for your foundation row. And when you get to the end of your foundation row, you're going to actually cut your yarn. So in mosaic crochet, we're always working in the front of the piece. We're never turning our piece. I'm going to go ahead, get my scissors and cut my yarn, and I'll show you what to do. I'm just going to leave about a one to two inch tail. Just cut the yarn there. And you're going to take your, your yarn, you're going to yarn over. Pull a loop through, but this time you're going to pull it all the way through. And then you're going to give this a gentle tug to tighten that up. And this is what your foundation row should look like. So now we're going, now that we've completed our foundation row, we are going to move on to the first pattern of our lap gown. Okay, so we're going to move on to the first pattern. Um, the first pattern is very, very simple. Um, it consists of four rows. And for my background color, or color A, I'm going to be using this beige color. Um, this is going to be my background color through the entire lap grant again. Um, so this is always going to be um, my color A. Or my background color throughout the entire project. Uh, for this first pattern, my pattern color, I am going to use this uh, black. So you're going to need two contrasting colors. You can use similar colors to what I'm using or use the yarns that I'm using. Everything's posted below um, in the description of the video. Um, and this is our first row here. So go ahead and write that down. Um, if you're doing that, if you have a notebook, you wrote down your foundation row. Now you're going to wrote, write down pattern one, row one, and we're going to actually start with color B, which is our pattern color. So we're going to start with this black color. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so row one is fairly simple um, to start. I want you to make sure that you're using the right stitches on your foundation row. So you don't want to use 
the, the underside of your foundation row. You want to use uh, the top side of your foundation row. So if you go back to the end here, this is where you cut your yarn and tightened it. So these are the stitches you're working with. So go back to the end there and then just follow your foundation row back to your first stitch. So each row, we're going to start with a border stitch. And the border stitch at the beginning will always be the same on every single row. Let's see if my camera focus here. So here's your first stitch here. You've got your front loop and your back loop. So for your border stitch, you're going to put your hook through both those loops. See there, both those loops. Take your, your yarn and you're going to pull it through both loops. And you're going to yarn over and pull a loop through and then tighten that up a little bit. This is your border stitch. So now we're going to go under the same stitch again under both loops. Pull your yarn through, yarn over, and pull through both loops. And that is a border stitch. You may have to tighten this up a little bit, like that. And then row one is fairly simple. We're gonna single crochet all the way down a hundred and so we did our border stitch and we're going to single crochet back down the, ch the chain and your single crochets will always be the same in mosaic crochet and that is you've got your front loop and your back loop for single crochets you're always going into the back loop of your stitch pull your yarn through pull up a loop yarn over pull through both loops we'll do another one we're going to go into the back loop of our stitch only pull a loop through yarn over pull through both loops we're going to do this all the way down our chain. Careful not to skip any stitches. Do the back loop only, pull a loop through, yarn over, pull through both loops. We're going to do that all the way down our chain. Until we get to our last stitch. Our last stitch is going to be an, another border stitch. So we begin with a border stitch and we end with a border stitch. So again, just into the back loop of your stitches. And we're going to work all the way down and stop before we get to our last stitch. And I'll show you what to do there. So I'll see you at the end of this row. Okay, I'm coming to the end of my row here. And we did one border stitch and we're single crocheting into the back loop of each stitch for 119 stitches until we get, I'll show you what to do with the ending border stitch. Again, just going into the back loop of your stitches. And now here I have my 119th stitch right here. And 
and we're going to end with a border stitch which again we're going to go under both loops of the stitch yarn over pull your loop through yarn over pull through two loops and we're going to cut our yarn Scissors. Cut our yarn, leaving a tail about one to two inches. And then we are going to yarn over and pull your yarn all the way through and give it a gentle tug to tighten that up a little bit. And that is row one of pattern one and we're going to move on to row two okay we're going to move on to row two um, row two is used in color a which is my background color and i'm using this beige for my background we're going to do a border stitch and then we're going to single crochet 119 stitches and then another border stitch. So it's the same as row one. So black doesn't show up real well on camera, but I'll do my best here um, and go through the border stitch one more time. So we're going to go through, put our hook through both loops of the first stitch. Pull our yarn through bringing up a loop, move our tail out of the way, yarn over, pull your yarn through, and you will need to tighten that up just a little bit. You're just securing your yarn to your row. And then we're gonna go under the same stitch under both loops again, pull the loop through, yarn over, pull through both loops. And we're going to do single cro 119 single crochets in the back loop only. I know you can't see this really well, but here's my first front loop and here's my back loop. Put my hook through the back loop. Pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops. Again, here's my back loop. Pull a loop through, oh, up, yarn over, pull through two loops. And I'm going to do that all the way down the row for 119 single crochet stitches. And I'll see you at the end of this row, and we'll go over the border stitch at the end. Okay, I am at the end of row two and I'm going to end with a border stitch. So once again, the border stitches at the beginning and the end of each row will always be the same. So I'm going to go take my hook and put it under both loops of my last stitch. Pull a loop through. Yarn over. Pull through both loops. And then I'm going to get my scissors and cut my yarn leaving a tail and then I'm going to yarn over and pull my yarn all the way through and give it a gentle tug to tighten that up and that is the end of row two and this is what we should have So now we're going to move 
on to row three, which gets a little bit more exciting because we're going to start our double crochet, our front loop double crochets. So let's begin. Okay, guys, we're moving on to row three. Um, and in row three, we're going to start our double crochets. Here's the problem. Because I'm using black, it's really hard to see um, the stitches below that you need to see um, because black just doesn't show up on camera. So in order for me to show you how to do the double crochets, I'm just going to use this right here so you can see a little clearer what I'm talking about. So just ignore this <laughs> pattern here. This is the next design I'm working on, but I'm just going to use this as an example to show you um, the stitches that you need to see um, for your double crochets. So we're going to go ahead and start uh, same way with our border stitch going under both loops of your first stitch. Pull a loop up, yarn over, pull a loop up, tighten that up a little bit. And then we're going to go under the same stitch, under both loops again, pull your yarn through, yarn over, pull through two loops. And that's your border stitch. And in row three, we're going to do five single crochet stitches to start. I'm sorry, five double crochet stitches to start. And when you do your double crochets, you're going to yarn over. Here's your first stitch, and then you need to drop down to the stitch below. And in your project, you'll be able to see it. Um, you just can't sh see the black on camera very well. I'll try to show it to you here. This is where your border stitch would go, and this is your first stitch, and you drop down to the stitch below. So we're going to yarn over. Here's your first stitch. You drop down to the stitch below, put your hook through, yarn over, pull through one loop. You have three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two loops. You've got two loops remaining, yarn over, pull through two. And let's do that again. So here's your next stitch here, yarn over drop down to the stitch below that, put your hook through, you've got three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through one loop, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two loops. And your double crochets are covering that color like that so let's try that with the piece we're working on and again I apologize I, I these are the colors I want in this piece and uh, the black just doesn't show up very well so we're gonna do our border stitch first put our hook through both loops of our stitch Let me get my yarn ready here not prepared. Okay, put our hook through both loops, pull a loop through, yarn over, pull your yarn through, and that's anchoring your yarn to your row. And then in the same stitch, put your hook through both loops. Yarn over, pull a loop up, yarn over, pull through both loops. That is your border stitch. Now we're going to do five double crochets. Yarn over, drop down to the stitch below, yarn over, pull through one loop, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, Pull through two loops. That's one. And 
go on to the second one, yarn over, drop down to the stitch below this stitch, yarn over, pull through one loop, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two loops. That's two. And we'll move on to the third one, yarn over, drop down to the stitch below, yarn over, pull through one loop, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, drop to the stitch below, yarn over, pull through one loop, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two loops. And that is one, two, three, four double crochets we just did there. We're going to do one more. Yarn over. Here's your next stitch. Drop down to the stitch below. Yarn over, pull through one loop. Yarn over, pull through two loops. Yarn over, pull through two loops. Now, that's the first part of the row. That's one, two, three, four, five double crochets. And now we're going to do alternate single crochet, double crochet. And we're going to do that 54 times. So basically every other stitch. So one stitch single crochet, one stitch double crochet. So here's our next stitch. Single crochet. <clears throat> Put your hook through the back loop of your stitch, pull your yarn through, yarn over, pull through two. And now we're going to do a double crochet, yarn over, here's your next stitch, drop down to the stitch below, yarn over, pull through one loop, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two. And then our next stitch is a single crochet in the back loop your hook through the back loop, pull the loop up, yarn over, pull through two. Your next stitch is a double crochet, yarn over, drop down to the stitch below, yarn over, pull through one loop, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two loops. Your next stitch is a single crochet, put your hook into the back loop, Pull the loop up, yarn over, pull through two loops. And then again, your next stitch is a double crochet, yarn over, drop down to the stitch below, yarn over, pull through one loop, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two loops. So this is what you're going to get. Every other stitch is uh, single crochet, double crochet, single crochet, double crochet, single crochet, double crochet, all the way down the row. Um, you're going to repeat that 54 times. If you don't want to count, um, stop when you get to five remaining stitches. So you, because you're going to do another five double crochets at the end plus a border stitch. So that's actually Okay, so we're going to do that all the way down. There's your, your row right there. Um, write that down, and I'll meet you at the end of the row. Okay, guys, I'm at the end of the row. I have five remaining stitches and a border stitch left. So I'm going to do five uh, more double crochets to end this row. I'll just do that really quickly here. There's one. Two. Three. Four, and five. 
So I'm ending with the five doubles. And then we're going to end this row with a border stitch. So there's my <coughs> last stitch there. I'll put my hook through both loops of the last stitch. Pull a loop up. Yarn over. Pull through both loops. And then I'm going to cut my yarn. <clears throat> and yarn over and pull the yarn all the way through and tighten that up gently. And that is the end of row three. And this is what you should see. So every other stitch is double crochet, single crochet, all the way down the row. And just take a moment to stop and check your work. Make sure you didn't skip any stitches or double up any stitches. And we are going to move on to the last row of this pattern, row four. Okay, we're going to move on to row four. And here is your row four right here. If you want to jot that down for yourselves. And this is really, really simple. So it's basically the opposite of row three. So we're going to start with color A, which is our background color, um, which is this brown color that is going to run through my entire piece. So remember that color A is always your background color and color B is your pattern color. So we're going to start just like we start on every row with a border stitch. Put your hook through both loops of the first stitch. Pull your yarn through, bring up a loop, yarn over, pull your yarn through that loop and tighten it a little bit. And then yarn over, nope, nope. And then put your hook through both loops again. Yarn over, pull the loop up, yarn over, pull through both loops and tighten that up. And so the first five stitches are single crochet, single crochet stitches. And again, into the back loop of the stitch. And we're gonna do five. I know the black is hard to see. We won't be using black very often, so just bear with me. Two, three, four, and five. And then we are going to do double crochet single crochet, double crochet, single crochet, 54 times. So here is our double and here we can see the double crochet a little better. So yarn over, drop down to the stitch below, put your hook through. You have three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through one loop, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two. And our next stitch is a single crochet into the back loop of your stitch. And then your following stitch will be a double crochet. Yarn over, drop down to that stitch below. Oops, put your hook through. You have three loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through one loop, yarn over, Pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two loops. Next stitch is a single crochet into the back loop of your stitch. And then a double crochet. And you'll do that all the way down till you have five stitches remaining. And I'll meet you at the end of the row. 
Okay, I'm coming to the end of my row. I have one single crochet and one double crochet left and then five single crochets. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that. There's my one single, one double. And then I have five single crochets before my border stitch. So there's one, two, three, four, and five. So now I'm going to end with my border stitch. Border stitch is the same at the end of every row. Put your hook through both loops of that stitch. Pull your yarn through, yarn over, pull your yarn through both loops. And then we're going to cut our yarn, leaving a tail. And yarn over. Pull your yarn all the way through and give it a gentle tug to tighten that up. And that is the first pattern of our lap gown. And it's fairly simple, I know. This is what it should look like. Um, but I wanted to start you guys off slowly in case you guys are new to mosaic cro crochet um, and give you some time to do this first pattern. Um, <clears throat> this first pattern uh, really sets the stage for the rest of the project. Um, so you wanna go back and double check everything, count your stitches. So that's what it looks like. With anything, we like to have a good foundation um, and if you have to start over, it's okay. When I was first learning this, when I would start a project, sometimes I had to undo a row or two or even start again at the beginning of my foundation row because my stitch count wasn't correct. Um, with anything, with practice, you get better at it. But it's okay to have to go backwards. Sometimes we have to go backwards in order to move forwards. So now that we're done with this um, pattern, I'm going to have you stop real quick. And so the yarn on this side of your pattern is secure at the end of your rows, that's secure. At the end of that, each pattern, I like to go back to the beginning of this row because we're gonna have to knot these to secure the yarn. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. It's just a couple of knots here. And I like to just uh, make a knot, just a gently, you don't have to make it too tight, and then knot it again. And we only have two we have to do here. So that's the first one, and then I'll tie together these two here. And that's just so your yarn is secure. Nothing will come apart or ravel apart on you. And again, you don't want to make it too tight, but tight enough. And you're going to double knot it. Like that. So that is our first pattern in the lap again. Um, and I'm going to give you guys some time to get that done. And... Make sure you have your correct stitch count, which is going to be <clears throat> two border stitches and 119 um, regular stitches. So that's 121 altogether. So there you have it. Tomorrow I will be posting um, pattern number two, and that's when we're going to get into <clears throat> Excuse me, that's when we're going to get into the fun stuff. Um...
and where the things start to come alive. So I'll see you tomorrow. Um, I'm looking forward to it. Bye for now.